Hello friends. In this session, we will see voltage regulation by MMF method. We will see the steps and procedure in which this particular method has been dealt. Let us begin. Yes. So if you see here, the first important thing is that this particular MMF method has been discovered by a scientist called as Rothert. Rothert. Hence, it is also known as Rothert's MMF method. Okay, anyways, love that thing. Let us try to understand what is the data which we need in order to perform this particular method. Okay, so let us see the required data. Here, same as EMF method in the sense data required will be same as emf method remember this same as emf method so in emf method we have seen that we have seen that we need what what things we need occ characteristics or rather oc test results then we need short circuit test result sc test result yes or no and then we also need need the value of ra if you remember we had known about this thing correct right? we have already talked about this a lot now you please tell me what will oc test give you oc test is the open circuit test right open circuit test gives you which characteristics are occ characteristics now occ characteristics in the sense what does that mean occ characteristics in the sense what are they that is nothing but what that is nothing but what we know that it is just nothing but the what do we say open circuit voltage voc that is phase that to in phase value correct or not versus what versus we have got the field current correct tunnel so these are nothing but called as voc and if uh, voc versus if and it is nothing but occ characteristics open circuit characteristics are nothing but this way because we know that as we go on increase if voc will also go on increasing yes or no yes if we keep on decreasing our if voc will also keep on decreasing right or no yes sir now anyways now let us think of this sc test sc test will give you what it will give you the short circuit characteristic scc characteristics where short circuit characteristics where at if you see here this you get for short circuit current which is isc versus this if yes or no and this isc which is there it this is generally the rated current this is generally the current rated current yes or no rated armature current yes or no yes sir now anyways so now if you just check out here let me think of some characteristics and now from here itself see this is nothing but what data that is required but the steps which will be followed those are going to be completely different steps okay yes anyways let us move on to the next one see so for example let us consider that i have drawn some occ characteristics let us say this way for example this is my field current if correct and this is nothing but for example voc and that too it is phase value remember for occ we need the phase values correct or not yes now what do I know? For example, we have already talked about it that yes, the OCC characteristics will be looking somewhere like this. Yes or no, sir? OCC characteristics will be like this. Yes or no? Yes, and as they are called the OCC characteristics. Now, once you have got OCC characteristics, the so step number one is to find OCC characteristics. Okay? Now, if it is found, once it is found then the next important step is what next important step is what it is saying you are supposed to find value of e what is that e let us understand so the next step is to find value of e now what is this e this e is nothing but this e is nothing but vt phase value definitely plus I A R A into cos phi. This is nothing but E. So you are supposed to find this 
value of e now as we have seen this earlier as well that this particular vt which is there it is always going to be a known quantity yes or no it is known quantity similarly if you think of ra ra is a known quantity if you think of cos phi cos phi is what known quantity only why this is nothing but what power factor yes or no yes so it is also known quantity what about ia ia definitely this is going to be rated definitely this is going to be rated yes or no so in this particular way you are supposed to find e first okay you are supposed to find e first now let us say that by using all of these quantities you have found out this e you have found out this e okay now let us try to locate that e. for example if that e location comes out to be here if for example e location comes out to be here then what will happen then what will happen then definitely then what are we supposed to do then this e value is nothing but coming here so for this particular e value what is my field current for this particular e value what is my field current for this particular e value what is my field current that field current let me name it as if1 getting my point or not correct yes so the first thing is to find OCC characteristics now the second thing is what once it is plotted once it is plotted you are supposed to find e what is this e this e is nothing but vt plus iara cos phi so once this particular thing is found what are we supposed to do we are supposed to locate it on this particular graph correct and then we have to find the value of if1 this is very very important guys if1 is very very important for us correct so basically from e you are supposed to go where from y axis you are supposed to go to the occ characteristics and from occ you are supposed to go to the field current which is nothing but if1 getting my point or not yes basically x axis so let me just think of x axis here from occ you are supposed to go to x axis and on x axis you are supposed to find what is if1 that's it this is very very important for you yes or no yes sir now let us think of what is if2 now there is one more thing you are supposed to find what is that that thing is nothing but c now this is all about occ characteristics now we need scc characteristics we have already talked about it that you know how to find scc characteristics right this is nothing but isc versus field current and we know that it is going to be a straight line always so we have talked about that earlier as well so let me have this one to be a straight line here now so let me have for example this is going to be straight line so this is nothing but scc characteristics yes or no and let me consider that here i am considering i am considering what ia or rather isc phase value correct so let me consider this green to be isc correct or not now next thing that we can do is the next thing that we can do is for example if this is y axis it is having occ which is x axis if1 correct or not now let me consider let me consider this way for example this particular scc characteristic which is there correct let me consider that here i have got this rated current for example if i am getting now i am interested to find if2 what is if2 if is nothing but field current field current for rated armature current for rated armature current means means let me consider let me consider that here at this particular ampere whatever it is so this is going to be let us say for example it is my what do we say rated current my rated current is here rated current occurs here for example okay if rated current occurs here then what is the field current that is required for that rated current is going to be this current this orange and that is nothing but if2 so this is nothing but if2 now the thing is once you have got if1 and if2 then the next important thing you are supposed to do it you are supposed to add if1 and and if2 but now since if1 and if2 are phasers they are phasers correct so that is the reason from equation point of view their equation of addition turns out to be something like this for example if i consider that if1 plus if2 remember this 
if i think of if1 plus if2 this phase are correct if1 plus if2 this phase are. let me consider that to be if0 once i add if1 plus if2 correct so that is nothing but if0 so if0 magnitude is going to be how much if0 is going to be how much it is nothing but under root of under root of if1 squared plus if2 squared plus 2 times if1 into if2 into cos of what do we say 180 degrees minus 90 degrees plus or minus 5 getting my point or not this is all thing are in multiplication this all thing is in multiplication remember this and here in between we have got addition here in between we have got addition correct or not yes now this is if2 by the way just don't get confused with it okay now here if you say here they are given plus minus correct or not yes there is plus minus in the sense this plus signs comes when we are considering lagging lagging conditions and minus sign comes when we are considering leading conditions remember this minus will come in case of leading for factor and in case of here lagging conditions we will get what we will get plus over there okay now let us see next one see here now once we have got this if not value because see once if1 is known correct once then if2 is known correct or not if1 is known if2 is known so once if1 and if2 is known definitely if0 is going to be easily found out by this formula now when you have this if0 for example if this if0 turns out to be somewhere here for example if this is the value of if0 for example okay if this value is nothing but if0 then what will happen then i will from x axis what will happen then i will go to x axis i will plot if0 correct or not from if0 i will go where i will go to the occ characteristics and then y axis and whatever is the value of e that is nothing but e for example see see i will tell you if this is if0 i will take this if0 to what do we say occ characteristics for example and occ characteristics is, is here from this occ characteristics i will come back i will come back i will come back to the y axis and whatever is this value of e that is nothing but ef phase value ef phase value getting my point or not yes so once ef phase value you have found out then the rest of the things are very simple then this means ef is found out so once ef is found out then what is percentage regulation percentage regulation is nothing but what ef minus vt upon vt into 100 that's it problem solved so your regulation you can find out easily so the first step is what let us revise the thing see the first step is what to find occ let me write down first step is to find occ correct or not then to find e yes or no yes then from this value of e we are supposed to find what if1 correct or not from then from rated current rated current we are supposed to find from scc by the way then we are supposed to plot scc from scc we are supposed to find rated current from rated current we should get what we should get if2 now next is what addition of if1 plus if2 whatever it comes that is nothing but if0 definitely it is phasor addition so we are going to consider it that way so once if0 is got you are going to locate it to ef that's it so this is the procedure we have, we have to follow and this is going to be very very simple procedure we will solve some examples as well on this in the next session so stay tuned for that anyways one important thing here which i forgot to mention is if you just observe here whenever we talked about to finding if2 if you see finding if2 is what field current for the rated armature current just keep this point in mind just keep this point in mind that if2 is the field current that is required to set up the rated armature current now you may ask me sir what if the value of this armature current is not equal to rated value given means for example if you have conducted let us say some experiment okay and in that particular experiment you have not taken the rated current for example for example if the rated current of the machine let us say 4.2 okay and for this one you know that the field current required is going to be 0 0.4 ampere this is if this is the rated current correct or not this is what you know which will come but now what has happened is this is rated current but now you have not done it to rated current rather than rated current you have done it for example at 2.5 you have 
consider that it is taken ia as 2.5 and you know value of if for this 2.5 let us say for example 0.15 for example 0.15 ampere okay but since this is not your if2 correct on this is not your if2 correct or not why because if2 is what if2 happens at when if2 happens at only rated current yes or no yes sir which means what which means what but now we know one thing we know one thing that it is always a straight line so by using simple ratio and proportion ratio and proportion or we can say by simply cross multiplication we can definitely solve such type of question such that we can get this if2 value very very easily that can be done very easily guys don't worry about it anyways in the immediate next sessions we will try to see some sums on this numericals on this and that will end the topic called as mmf method thank you